Take your time. Take it. They're a very intelligent group of people. You know, you can just look at people. And someone thing about us nowadays, if you got a little bit of the truth, you can look at an audience, you can yeah. see people. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Very intelligent. I'm not compliment you all as such. Or I don't believe in putting no medals. Yes, no medals. I'm not yes, stroking you. I'm just yes, looking, sir. telling you what I see. Yes, sir. Right. And I can see that I, there's some things I can just, I won't have to deal with and get right to the point on some things. I can Come see on. that. Come on. Now, brothers and sisters, Abraham was taken by God. I'm looking at some of the details. You can read for yourself. That's right. And he was taken in his spirit mm -hmm. into our spirit and into our situation. If you notice, the word said God made him to go into a deep sleep. But it wasn't just a sleep. It was a horrifying sleep. Come on. Look, look at the words. Go look at the different translations. All the words tell you in Hebrew, when you bring them into English, that the state of mind he went into was a horrible state of mind. Go ahead. Not just agitated. Not just a nightmare. And in that condition that involved being transported 5,000 years from then to now, he, in his spirit, experienced what you and I were going through. And in that situation, God said, now, your seed is going through this. But after, they're going to come out of it. They won't be in this forever. But I got to put them in this. If your seed is going to rule and last forever, then there's something that has to be done to purify humanity of the very basis of unrighteousness. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has told us when, Ma when Master Farad Muhammad came here, All right. our condition was the spiritual and moral equivalent of what things was when, as it is written, in the beginning, God. Not in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, All but right. in the beginning, just God. All right. Later, at some point, he began the creative process. But in the beginning was God and darkness. Come on. Mm. God and nothing. Come on. God and utter blackness. Mm. God and zero. Mm. Your Bible, Revelation tells you. Isaiah tells you in 65, uh, chapter 65, Revelation 21. God says, I'm going to create a new heavens and a new earth. That's right. That statement we're given to believe and understand is an act that God does at what's called the end of the world. The end of the world is intimately associated with the second coming of Christ. Come on. Come on. You're not going to have a, a, to ask the people to stand aside for a minute, you make a new creation, and then you put them back in it, yeah. but they're going to be like that. No, sir. No, sir. People will be alive. Right. People will live through this, the initiating of this process. All right. All right. We have never understood what the thing meant. Right. What we're saying in plain language is we happen to be alive in the point in time when such words as you find in Isaiah and Revelation are being fulfilled. The recreation of the heavens and the earth has begun. Yes, sir. How has it begun? You don't start off producing a new son, you kill everybody. You have to start with the minds of the people. Down through the line of time in their descendants, they will produce this, that, and the other. On the We are a people, I repeat, That's right. Come on. who were allowed by God Come on. Come on, to come into a condition 
that no human beings have ever experienced, right. nor will there ever be need for this again. That's right. When you first hear this truth, even though you may not believe it, you think you're heavier than you are, and you are in a certain sense, you and I are the spiritual, I repeat, and moral, spiritual precedes the moral, equivalent of the nothingness that was space when God began the creative process. I wish I could slow the clock down and just take my time and drive some points home. Listen to this. Important. Listen to this. It's very important. It's a, the Bible is filled with this talk. It's filled with it. It's filled with the description over and over again about us. Yes, sir. It's really something. Jews, white Christians, and white-thinking Muslims don't like the idea that black people have been told, are being told for now roughly 64 years, that we are the chosen right. that the Bible and Quran talk about. Yeah. Right. times we try to become lawyers against this truth, yeah. defending others. Yeah. But it's, it, 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 it is, believe me, it is easy to prove that that's true. Right. But it's not always easy to get a hearing. Right. Mm. There's so much involved in the full explanation of this. Most times we're impatient. That's right. There's a lot of sport and play mm. and garbage going on that dis right. distracts our attention. Right. We still believe in partying on Friday night, especially uh -oh. Saturday. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hmm? There's a lot of things we that's do. Us. That's us. That means we are competing. Mm -hmm. Those of us that heard this truth day before yesterday are trying to get the other brothers and sisters to realize, look, man, look, sister, mm -hmm. we're not just telling you something. We're sharing yes. with you yes. our collective birthright. Yes. 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 This is yes. that which by birth belongs to you. Yes, sir. Come on, Muhammad. It's not doing you a favor That's right. in that sense. Mm -hmm. It belongs to all of us. That's right. Listen. Have you ever looked at the word self? S E L F. Or maybe from your position it's backwards. I wrote it backwards. Mm -hmm. Have you ever looked at the word self? Yes, sir. You yes. talk about yourself, myself every day, right? Yes. Yes. Yourself, myself. Yes. How about self? What does self mean? Mm -hmm. Did you know the word means your nature? Mm -hmm. If you don't know who you are in terms of your nature, you don't know who you are. That's right. That's right. If it can be proven that your mother and father, who came from mother and father, mother and father, keep going back, 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 came from the supreme being in the beginning. What then does that make you by nature? Simple, isn't it? You can't be by nature other than the law by which you and I came into being. What you need to understand about this teaching is it is the wisdom of the Supreme Being, Come on. and it is wisdom that has never, ever, not some of the superficial parts that are really introductory in nature, but the core of this message is something that has never been revealed. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. That's right. Here we have the secret knowledge of God Himself Come on. Come on. Come on. being given straight up to the dumbest people on the face Go ahead. of the earth. Go ahead. To stop and here you have supreme wisdom Come on, Muhammad. directed into the brains of a people who are blind, deaf, and dumb. That's right. Come on. But a people who have been specially prepared Come on. through the worst humiliating set of circumstances people can go through Come on. to receive that truth yes, sir. if they just look at it just like it really is.